Finally, with the big three adjustment layers, I call them the big three, curves, levels, and hue and saturation, we'll deal with the hue and saturation, and because we set the curves to luminosity, it's probably going to need a little bit of saturation, and looks like it needs it a little bit here. We'll start off and double click it. And a little about this dialog here. You've got hue, saturation, and lightness sliders. Under edit it'll say master and then these other. They're not channels, there's just parts or chunks as I like to call them of the spectrum. We'll go back to the master. Now this lightness will definitely make things lighter or darker, but it will cause clipping like right away. And so for that reason I recommend you don't use this at all. In fact, just leave that set for zero for these purposes. If you need to brighten it up, you go to levels and do that. I want to show you a little trick here. If we crank up the saturation quite a bit and then zoom in part of your image, you'll see that as it starts to get overly saturated, you start to see a little color noise like a pixelized look here. And if you set the blending mode of this layer, however, to color, watch what will happen. See, everything takes on a more realistic look, and you can actually get away with more saturation before it falls apart and looks fake. So, my advice to you is just to leave this hue and saturation set to color. So, let's view this thing at 100% and deal with it here. What will usually happen is you'll crank up the saturation until things are looking pretty good, and more often than not, one color or one a few colors will start to fall apart and look overly saturated before the others. So you can crank it up a little bit first and then go into the individual chunks here and back off on those areas that are a little overdone. Like right here for instance, I like the way, let's see if I can get away with a little more. The dogs are looking fairly realistic. This area here is maybe a little too strong. But one thing I'm noticing is this reflected green under chin here and on his neck, it's a little strong. So what we can do then is choose what we think is the closest, like greens, and click on this area and reduce the saturation. You see how it's hitting too much of the image? What you can do is, here's the absolute chunk that the bite it's taking out. You can narrow that and you can also narrow its fall off to where it hits the neighboring colors. So now Click on it again to get your thing. And now you see it. if I back off, it's not affecting the other colors as much. And you can continue like this until you've got just a narrower enough subset to get the job done. Let's try this one more time here. And now I'll back off a little bit. See how it's not even hitting the grass too much? It's pretty much just nailing that a little bit of offensive reflection coming on here so another thing you can do in addition to just decreasing the saturation let me push it up a little bit so you can really see this area here is you can alter its hue slightly now you don't want to use the hue and saturation for color adjustments you'll be doing that in levels these are to make small tweaks for instance look under their chin if I was to take that yellowish green and shift it a little bit more toward red, you can see already it's not as offensive or it's not as strong. So now if I take it down, I won't need to decrease the saturation as much. A good example of when you would use this, it's let's say you've got a landscape or some people out on the beach. You know, the sky is blue and the water's green and you want to play that up. So you go in here to the master then and crank up the saturation like we did here. Well, what winds up happening is the subjects wind up looking like they're sunburned. So in that case, you could go into the red section and not only decrease the saturation a bit, but you could shift the hue away from that magenta sunburned look and move it to the right a couple steps. I'll do it here so you can see what will happen. It takes on more of a yellow look, but you only need to knock it up a couple, two or three. I'm going to leave it alone in this case, but you do that and then you don't even have to decrease the saturation as much. So, so to reiterate, you start off with the hue saturation, go into the master channel, adjust the saturation as needed. I wouldn't mess with the hue at all here. If you need to, that means you haven't got it fixed well enough in the levels. Then you can go into any parts that seem overly saturated and knock them down a little bit, whatever that may be. 
and the corresponding byte of the spectrum here. And you can also adjust the chunk or byte that this is taking out of the spectrum just by moving these sliders down here. I'm going to click OK now. And after having done this, you might go back again and look at some of these others. For instance, now it looks like I've got the darks a little too dark, so I'm going to bring them up slightly. Just a little bit there. And maybe have one more look at the center slider and levels here and make one final brightness tweak. There's a lot of interdependence on these three adjustment layers, so you go messing with one and it affects the other. Make it a tiny bit brighter. I'm, I'm pretty happy with this. But one thing you can do to keep it better organized is you can make a new folder. I'll call this CC for color correction and just take these three layers, shift click them, and drag them in there. And then you can collapse it and that way you can just hide it. So here's our before, the three color adjustment layers, and here's the after. So it's a pretty dramatic difference as you can see. By the way, let's take a look at the before and after before we even started. There's straight out of camera raw, And there's where we are so far. Now I like to call these adjustment layers here global because there's no mask and we're using it for the whole image. In the next segment we'll do some localized adjustment layers. That is to say adjustment layers that would have a mask so they're only targeting specific areas.